get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Einstein Bagels, Atari, and many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm very excited. We have Alan Osri, and he started what is now the Osri Bakery with his father in 1996 by scraping together money from family and a business loan to start a small 700 square foot sandwich shop in Canada and his brother Guy joined in also. Probably the bakery portion of that where they did production was only 300 square feet. So we're gonna compare that. So since then, they've grown into 90,000 square foot facilities supplying grocery store chains and natural food stores all over the US and Canada with their natural products. Alan, thanks for joining me. Hi, how are you? Fantastic. I, you know, since it's Inspired Insider, I always ask, what's been the lowest point and then what's been the proudest moment for you? What was the, uh, I mean, you, you talked a little bit about some of the low points. Yeah, they covered, I think I covered them. The, so it's not, I mean, it's not that often, but you do, they did yeah, occur. Yeah. So it's when the bank called, it's when yeah, we saw yeah. uh, our pro- a product in, in the U.S. I'd say those were the two big ones. Um, the high points are, you know what, when, when uh, honestly, when people send us emails yeah. and we're not asking for them or, or the, on Facebook or whatnot, and they tell us they love our product. That, and that happens almost on a daily basis. Um, we have, we have uh, a massive, massive uh, a database of cust- and consumers that we communicate with, yeah. that we, we talk to, they talk to us. Uh, that that's the best thing. I love it when people call and say they love our product. Yeah. What's been your favorite story that you've heard? Um, well, a recent one is uh, a mother. So we don't declare that we're not free, um, just for certain legal reasons. Yeah. But we'll say we're, we we cannot put the stamp on it. But we have no nuts in our bakery. Our team members are not allowed to bring any uh, nut products into our bakery. Um, or to even eat them at lunch. So we do, and, and our suppliers don't hold the uh, ingredients with nut products. Right. So that much we do. You, it's on you to decide if you want to use it or not. So this lady um, decided to, to try it, and her kid, who's really had really severe issues, uh, was so so happy that their kids they c- could take it to school with them because because they were they were having issues with healthy snacks that don't have nuts in them or right. that they're not. It was amazing. It was just amazing. Yeah. And um, yeah. That, you affect it's, people's it's, lives. Yeah. It's the little things. Uh, we make a lot of products a day, and and we put in a lot of uh, no joke, uh, good good intention into these products, and and we hope that that whoever eats these products gets just only uh, uh, good uh, good stuff from them, and and on a, almost on an energetic level. So it's just. We want people to be happy and, and better once they eat, obviously with a good taste and, and the, the clean label. Yeah. Uh, but, but that's part of how, how we do things. And that's definitely our intention. Yeah, and the consumer one's big, but I want to know something also on selfish. Like you've worked for 20 years in this, working really hard. So what's something that you've celebrated, a win you celebrated because of, of how hard you worked with this company? Oh, I celebrate all the time. Yeah. So, all the time. Uh, when we went to San Francisco uh, for the show, so it's you know half work, half. What not. show is it? What's uh, the the show? fancy food show in okay. January, and um, I took uh, the product development team with us, and we went to literally partying <laughs> through Napa Valley and San Francisco, and had a blast. Um, I'm able today, you know, in two weeks, I'm going to Maui again for a week for no reason. Um, just I felt like going, and two weeks ago I decided, and I can do it. Uh, there, there are a lot of uh, benefits, and you know, uh, our father is amazing. He, his whole life, he had he, he ups and downs financially, yeah. but throughout he always lived his life fully, and yeah. he enjoyed life. So 
he'd go to uh, you know a little a cheaper Chinese restaurant. I remember as children when we were not doing so well at times, we just, we'd go out and we'd have a great time in this hole in the wall. Today we'll do the same thing, and it will be either in a hole in the wall or not. Um, it's it's it's. I think it's the at it's how you look at it, and we, yeah. we're not materialistic. I'm not looking for. Uh, necessarily fancy cars. We're looking for financial independence, definitely, and we're, we're making headway towards that. But we, we don't care for huge houses, fast cars, and stuff like that. Right, uh, right. At least I'm not, and um, not, not my family either. Um, we, we do, you know what? We, uh, yeah, we, we want, we want to do, do have a positive impact yeah. and, uh, and live well, and I think, I think we're doing that. Yeah. We do a lot of work with with the with the community. Yeah, also. I saw that it's something you donate like thirty six thousand of some product per year or something. Or where did I? What was I reading? Um, that may be. Uh, so we all. The, I'd say the marathons, all the big marathons and runs in southern Ontario, which is fairly big in Toronto and area. Yeah. yeah. They all get our 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 uh, morning rounds in their bag, but that's the we support. Uh, we support programs, breakfast programs, in more than a hundred schools mm. in in the uh, Greater Toronto area. We don't make money on it, so um, I, I think that that's ex- extremely important. That th- this is why we're doing these things is is it's such a pleasure to think of kids that can't afford their families can't afford breakfasts are are getting our morning round uh, um, in the morning and um, getting them to lunch or maybe further. Uh, it, it's really nice. Yeah, and and we work also with entrepreneurs and younger entrepreneurs. So that's like my best friends now are are younger entrepreneurs or yeah less young now. But um, just it's 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 a these it's it's more than just selling and money and stuff like that. Yeah, besides you know with your dad, I'm sure you you've worked with him for many years. I'm curious what other lessons you learned. So live life. What other lessons did you learn from your dad working side by side? Um. For myself, he's a lot more chill than I am. I, I'm a little more stressed out, so I will I will get stressed quickly and then go and charge the issue. Right. I think I should still go and charge the issue, but I should get stressed less. So I think I think I'm I'm a lot uh, calmer. I know I'm a lot calmer. I, otherwise, I would uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be. Here. You seem calm, pretty calm to me, actually. Cons- I'm much calmer now. Yeah, considering I used to be very stressed. Yeah. What um, have we not talked about? So far, that would be important. Some advice to entrepreneurs maybe thinking about getting into uh, the food industry. Um, I think the food industry is amazing. I think um, the more innovative you are, the better chances you have to succeed. Uh, I think that enjoy, enjoy the ride. It's a... if you go to food shows, have a blast. Uh, have your customers feel, and, and the consumers notice it. It's like it's funny. People know if you were if you you have a good time. If there's good energy in your company, um, treat your people well. So our team members. Uh, yeah, I want you to talk about this a little bit. Yeah, this is important. It's super important because everything you make goes through their hands, yeah. and and uh, you want them again. You don't want miserable people working for you. You don't you don't want that. Um, and, and so our teams are whenever I remember the both guy and I and our father were super happy when we could give and this is maybe 10 years ago the health benefits sadly yeah. and it cost us a lot of money tons of money hundred like hundreds of thousands of dollars um, and, and but we were happy that we could offer it and that they have it um, when we are profitable we have profit sharing yeah. so it's also, large sums of money. They, like that money doesn't have to go there. It could go into our pockets. Um, but we're very, very happy. Not that means that nothing goes. We, we do benefit from business, but we want the people working with us mm-hmm. um, to benefit. So yeah. I remember uh, just this, this year, uh, in December, uh, I had a, one of the ladies in the office. She was, woohoo, just after we, whatever, declared. Uh, and, and I said, hey, what's happening? She said, I'm happy. I said, why happy? She goes, I'm happy and Canada Goose is going to be happy. So she was able to now go and buy a Canada Goose coat, which costs like eight to nine hundred bucks. Really? Holy cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was so happy. And this is, you know, these are not high, they're average income or lower than average because of the, the job itself. Um, so that was so nice. It was just nice to see. 
How did you decide that the profit sharing component? We because we always wanted to. Got, we, we discussed in the past. We were thinking, how is there a way to even have shared ownership of the company? Because right, right. um, again, without them, you know it how important exist. it was. Yeah. It doesn't exist without them. Uh, but then, because of legalities and lack of control or control issues, and it just always got complex with lawyers. So he said, "Screw this! You know, let's just let's just we have we, we'll make the decision uh, when we can, and when we can, we uh, we, we do it." So we have a, a little formula that we follow, and that that dictates when and how much uh, it's done, and it's done at the end of every, every year, and we, everybody's familiar with how the business is doing during the year. So. Yeah, it's it's very important. It, yeah, I remember it's in a few articles actually. They mentioned that, and I uh, it really stuck out. Um, how do you come to that structure? Do you, are there certain professionals that are they experts at that? Let's say someone wants to actually create that. Like, Alan, that sounds like an amazing idea. Where do you start with coming up with the right formula for you? So yeah, the formula is simple. It uh, just has to do with our, our profitability, and then there's a breakdown of team members by number of years and by position, and we attribute different numbers to them. Plug in a number, and then it shoots out um, the numbers. So and and the 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 percent we decide of a percentage of the profit that will go out, and uh, and 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 that's it. And that, that can vary. It all depends. Yeah. On is there a standard when you're doing the research for? It? Is there a standard that no. people? No. No. We I didn't see any standard. Yeah. Uh, we were looking if if anybody knows uh, of uh, like, and again I don't know if we'll go there or not, but I'd like to know about uh, a way of sharing uh, ownership of a company with with team members, but without it affecting your decision making ability and right. your, your freedom. Uh, yeah. Because that we won't compromise. That. Yeah. It's, it's definitely yeah. yeah. Alon, well, this has been fantastic. I appreciate it, and everyone should check out. Where should we point people towards? I mean, I have Ozry Bakery, O Z E R Y B A K E R Y dot com. Any other places that they should should go to check out? No, um, that's that's it. Uh, we're we're very busy on Facebook. We're busy on Instagram. Uh, we we have a nice new uh, site uh, for three weeks now. So go go check it out, and. Um, yeah, should yeah. And, and, go, and go taste our products because you know yeah. a screen a screen is uh, boring, uh, but a really tasty toasted morning round. Um, yeah, what's your favorite the favorite product and what do you put on it? I, I really like I really like our muesli and I like to warm it in a toaster oven, cut it open, put a little cream cheese, some old cheddar cheese, and eat it, and maybe some really ripe tomato, and then eat that. Uh, it's really nice with also I like the the, the certain nut like a, a like an almond butter uh, or a sunflower butter on top of it also is extremely good in the morning. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so those. those yeah, are I ask at the end because I didn't want to get really hungry in the very beginning of this. And um, I'll send you a box of products. How about that? I'll go to the store. And I think we already have them actually. Uh, a- yeah, but. Alan, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Brilliant. Thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire. Came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach if you find the same. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.